This is an assessment tour of flooded communities of Ohaji Egbema, Oguta and Egbema in River State by former Nigerian Inspector General of Police Mike Okiru. Okiru says dredging Orasi River and building a dam in Ohaji Egbema and Egbema in River State will go a long way in reducing the level of flooding in the communities. Here, the flood has caused considerable damage to schools, churches, hotels, and even markets. Other structures are submerged. Now that it has started, we may see that uh, what happened like this uh, 2012 or 2016, and it's coming again this year. Government should be get ready for it and know that there's radical preparation made to salvage and create the effect of uh, this hardship on the people. But about this also that um, apart from giving palliatives, giving uh, seedlings, the roads have to be built. If I find out that or Haji Ebumoguta, there are no roads. Not even farmlands are spared. The people who depend largely on farming to survive now have no source of income. There is also the fear of diseases breaking out. I am speechless. The only thing I have to say is the state's federal government, the multinational companies, within the Ebema River and the Imo States, they should come to our aid. Immediately not for the flood alone, but the aftermath of the flood. We are asking governments to take a cursory study of what has happened. They have not gone around to see what happened to the, the devastated areas. If you don't assess what has happened, there is no way you can know what to do. So what they are bringing to us now is the tip of an iceberg. It is not adequate. It's 100% inadequate. We need the government to come in and assess what has happened at this point in time because the water is recessing. If it goes down, you won't be able to know what happened. But this is just the time. In the next two days, you find out that this water will go back, start going back. It has already started going back. That's why we're able to navigate the roads. The people of the affected communities are also calling on the federal and state government to establish a health care center and provide emergency aid to reduce the impact of the disaster.